Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be doing a check-in for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Going to tap into the energy that surrounds you at this time and see what message Spirit has for you. If you are a cross-watcher here for the sign of Aries, remember to flip, switch the roles, do not force any messages, take what resonates, and possibly check out other placements. So what is the message for the Aries Collective? Thank you. Communication is key in the reverse. So possibly keeping communication to a minimal at this time is going to be imperative in moving forward. A personal issue reaches resolution. Communication is key. So I don't feel that talking to this person that you're having issues with is going to result in anything positive. So continue to keep your boundaries but in regards to this situation, it will be resolved, I feel. It says full moon in Cancer. Just kind of drawn to this energy. I know it's the full moon, but I am picking up the world. So there is a cycle that is closing. Continue to keep boundaries from someone. There's someone that is trying to get you to uh, react in a certain way. And the best reaction would be nothing in regards to communication with this person. Okay, I do feel it is time to take action, but possibly holding back from communication is what I feel inclined to say. So I'm going to clarify this now with Tarot and see what message Spirit has for you. So please clarify this message. Protect my vibration at the highest as well as that of the collective. Please clarify this message for Aries. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Feeling um, Queen of Wands in the reverse and the devil. So we have Leo energy. There's someone that's trying to dull your light, right? This Queen of Wands energy. This is someone that's trying to impact you in a negative way. I feel there's someone that is manifesting against you with this devil energy. Because the Queen of Wands came out in the reverse, I'm going to look at it from your vantage and then as well as the vantage of this person because I will clarify there is someone that's toxic that's energetically connecting to you that spirit is telling you to continue to hold your boundaries with. Do not start communicating with this person because this person is trying to um, lower your vibration. This person is trying to hold you down. This person doesn't like that you're in the process of glowing up, that you are um, holding boundaries with them, that you have released them. This person doesn't like that, okay? This Capricorn energy here, this devil. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but definitely someone that's very toxic, someone that's very dark, someone that's very disconnected from source, someone that is wanting to um, hold you back. I feel so inclined to say, and then bottom of the deck, Knight of Cups, this person is coming with a closed heart. This person is operating from ego. This person is definitely... Um, sitting strong in the devil energy. So just be mindful. There is someone that is trying to hold you back from reaching your full potential at this time. I'm going to clarify and then I will pull an oracle on that. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please clarify this message for the Aries collective. What does Aries need to know? I feel knight of cups in the reverse again to the fool. This is someone that you're no longer giving love to. Someone that you recognize isn't your person, isn't someone that you're meant to be with and you're going to take a leap of faith in a new direction and in that new direction, you're going to reach a higher vibration. Spirit, please clarify the Queen of Wands in the reverse for Aries. Why is the Queen of Wands here in the reverse? So Queen of Wands is Leo energy. Because you, you've set up boundaries with this person. You've worked very hard, so don't start playing games with this person. I feel this is someone that you've set up boundaries with, that you're not in communication with, with this Ace of Wands in the reverse. You've worked very hard to set boundaries up with this person, and they are wanting to trigger you. They are wanting you to come towards them with this devil energy. But just know that there is divine balance coming. All right, this person possibly breadcrumbed you, gaslit you. This person is holding back finances in some way to trigger you in in um some way this person is trying to hold you back financially is what i feel 
This could be a water sign with the hangman, Pisces. What have we got so far for a sign? So we've got Leo, Capricorn. We've got Eight of Pentacles, which represents Virgo energy. Ace of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sag. The hangman in the reverse, Pisces energy. And then we've got Six of Pentacles, which is Taurus. But this person, possibly, like I said, a water sign, the hangman, is um, trying something new. They're trying to control you now through finance, I feel. Because you, you have invested very hard in moving away from this person. You've worked very hard to move away from this toxic connection. But this person's very stuck. This person isn't capable of seeing anything from anyone's perspective other than their own. And they will continue to breadcrumb you because they're very jealous and very emotionally insecure um, energies. That's this person that's connecting to you. The energy of this person is very jealous. Page of Cups. This is a person that's a child in, in a human form, like in a grown-up body. But this person never really emotionally developed past that of a child. Okay, you are dealing with someone that was not capable of growing because they were only given so much in their childhood. This is a very toxic person. This is a very broken individual who is trying to play games and trying to provoke you to um, break your boundaries is what I feel. So continue to hold your boundaries with this communication is key in the reverse Aries. I feel that spirit is very clear in that. Do not play games with this person because you've moved away from this vibration. However, this person is very much in their shadow self. Please show me more energy in regards to this person. I got to clarify that devil. Sorry. <laughs> Jealousy in the reverse. Rumors, pettiness, envious, talking behind your back. So don't let this person trigger you. This person's jealous. Do not let that be the catalyst for play, for re, um, uh, resetting boundaries with this person. It's not worth it. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here, spirit? Give me more energy on this devil. Yeah, because they want you to remove your boundaries with the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is about standing up for yourself and they want you to take that away, right? Just know that there will be resolution. The, the worst is behind you, I feel. Page of Wands, you may receive some type of message. Sagittarius energy here. So I want to see what this person's intentions are towards you other than what's come out in the main spread. I want to see the energy of this person. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please show me the energy and the intentions of this person towards Aries. What does Aries need to know about this person? What are this person's intentions towards the Aries? What does Aries need to know? It's going to impact the divine feminine. Taurus energy is coming up. This person, this person has love for you, just even though they have a very sick way of showing it because they're broken individuals. This person is going to come with an offer of love, even though they're trying. So that's why they are really trying to trigger you at this time because you've set up some really solid boundaries with them. This person sees your value and your worth possibly you have children with this person with the empress energy here this person sees that you've healed after releasing them they have love for you they even though they're coming across as very toxic deep down inside of them they know that you are a good person a good mother that you have you have done your job as the divine feminine, as the chosen one from the universe. They know deep down that they've done you wrong. Page of Wands again. There's somebody watching you. Okay, I want to clarify. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? It's a funny way to show someone love. Three of Cups in the reverse. I feel this person possibly left for a third party and it's not working out. This person's very... Um, This person has a drinking problem. Okay. 
give me more energy on this Knight of Cups and Three of Cups. Yeah, this person's still, this person's in love with you. And this person's not happy in the third party and they're wanting to come back and show you love by being manipulative, deceptive, deceptive and toxic though. So is this the kind of person that you want? Obviously, resolution is necessary. You need to um, you need to hold your boundaries with this person. This is a very messed up individual, Aries. Please clarify the Empress releasing burdens. So continue to hold in your power. Continue to know that you are being divinely guided as the divine feminine at this time, Aries. You are embodied and respected by the universe. You are chosen by the universe as the empress here to continue to release burdens. Do not let this person burden you. All right. There is unfinished business. Possibly you're still trying to detach from this person. Clearly this person's very chaotic and still energetically connecting to you. Um, possibly you're still divorcing this person. This cycle is not completely closed out, but just know that you are being divinely guided and protected and to not let this burden you, this situation that this person is trying to trigger you with because this person is trying to trigger you. This person does have a drinking problem when we got three of cups in the reverse and the nine of cups. This person is very codependent. This is someone that you're no longer um, putting any wish fulfillment towards you are no longer putting any love towards because this person was very selfish. This person needs to heal. This person is definitely spiraling out of control and is trying to trigger you. I think there's going to be some communication come forth that's going to bring some clarity to this situation. All right, with this King of Swords uh, energy, the King of Swords is Libra. Look at this, there will be justice. In regards to, oh, fuck. you will have justice in regards to this past person. Just continue not going backwards. Continue on your healing journey of enlightenment at this time. Release this person that does not share the same morals and values. And, and this will be made right with this King of Swords energy. Expect communication. That that So trust. Do not let this person trigger you. There is justice coming for you. All right, so what have we got here? We've got 10 of wands, that's Sagittarius, nine of cups in the reverse, that's Pisces. Again, you may be dealing with a water sign. Uh, we've got justice, which is Libra. We've got six of cups, Scorpio. We've got the hermit, which is Virgo, the Hierophant, and then king of swords, which is Libra energy. So expect some type of communication. There is, I feel that this will be made right. This King of Swords is a separate energy that is going to come in and help the situation. So you just continue to move forward with your heart open, releasing the burden. Do not let this person trigger you. Please give me some more energy in regards to this situation for Aries Spirit. Please give me some more energy. Thank you. Observing in the reverse. Being watched. Social media. Stalking keeping an eye on you and obsessed with you. Close out this person. Continue to block this person. I, I feel don't be sharing too much on social media at this time because this person is watching you. This person is looking for some type of a sign that they've triggered you with this observing in the, in the reverse. So the message from spirit is that you are going to be triggered by someone from your past who's still secretly in love with you, but is very toxic, very low vibration and are going to try and trigger you because they want you to break your boundaries that you've set, but continue to move forward with your heart open. Do not let this person burden you. Thank you, Aries. Let me know if this resonates. Like I said, I have personals available if you need something specific to your energy. Take care. Bye.